The ocean is home to many fascinating and mysterious creatures that we have only just begun to discover. Some of them display gorgeous colors, incredible abilities, and have adapted amazingly well to hostile environments. However, there are some others that are just plain strange. Dive in with the hub as we introduce you to 10 of the most bizarre creatures you'll find hiding out in the deepest depths of the ocean. Deep sea missions can be treacherous, so make sure that you hit the subscribe button before you dive in. And turn on notifications to make sure you don't miss out on any videos we post while you're exploring. Frilled Sharks This shark is rarely seen by humans, since it lives up to 5,000 feet below the surface. These sharks may appear strange and prehistoric at first glance, and that's because they are. They're known as living fossils because they belong to one of the oldest extinct shark lineages that dates back to at least the late Cretaceous period, and possibly as far back as the late Jurassic. The frilled shark is named for its distinctive gills, which circle their throats and are edged with a red fringe. However, don't let that fringe distract you from those terrifying mouths of theirs. They contain 25 rows of teeth, adding up to 300 teeth total. And that's not all. Their teeth are shaped like small spears and face backwards towards their throat. This makes them ideal for grasping the frilled shark's prey. Because they live so deep in the ocean, humans seldom encounter them. However, no small amount of scientists have managed to snag themselves while examining their teeth. Further making their mouths seem rather uninviting are the spines known as dermal denticles lining their mouths. Even the way they move is off-putting, as their enormous liver contains low-density oils and hydrocarbons, making this shark seem strangely buoyant. Giant Spider Crab The name of this creature is pretty self-explanatory. The giant spider crab is a giant, it resembles a spider, and it's a crab. Don't worry, we'll expand on those points a little bit. These crabs are absolutely enormous and can have a leg span of up to 12 feet and weigh 42 pounds. They're thought to be the largest arthropods on Earth and spend most of their time 1,000 feet underwater, foraging for food on the ocean floor. As you may have guessed based on their size, these crabs can do some serious damage with their claws. When it comes to defending themselves from predators, including octopi, they do use their brains as well as their brawn. They're known to decorate their shells with sea sponges and other small animals in order to be able to better blend in with their environment. They are sought after by some fishermen who claim that these crabs are as delicious as they are frightening. As for what the crabs themselves eat, they're scavengers and are happy munching on whatever algae, plants, and mollusks they come across. It's estimated that these crabs can live up to 100 years. So not only do these crabs hide in plain sight, have massive claws, and are intelligent, but they can live up to a century? No, these things don't belong in horror movies at all. Atlantic Wolffish Man, some of the names for these creatures aren't very creative. The Atlantic Wolffish is found in the Atlantic Ocean and earns the wolf part of its name because of its huge, sharp teeth that are visible even when their mouths are closed. They have four to six conical fangs at the front of their mouth, followed by three additional rows of teeth used for crushing. Even their throats have serrated teeth inside of them. Despite their frightening appearances, they're not known to be aggressive towards people. They may have long eel-like bodies, but they're definitely fish and are actually related to sculpins. They can grow up to five feet in length, and these voracious predators don't let little things like shells or exoskeletons stop them from chowing down. They're known to feed on sea urchins, crabs, and marine snails. Because they make their home in the cold waters of the Atlantic, their bodies create a sort of natural antifreeze in order to keep their blood moving fluidly throughout their bodies. These solitary fish only pair up to mate and live in rocky coastal depths up to 1,600 feet below the surface. They prefer to stay pretty stationary and rarely leave their homes, which is something many of us can relate to. Fangtooth fish. The fangtooth fish is much smaller than the Atlantic wolffish, measuring only about six inches in length, but it does live much deeper into the ocean. This fish with a face only a mother could love is rarely found over 6,500 feet below the surface and has been found as deep as 16,500 feet. In addition to being one of the deepest ocean dwelling fish ever discovered, their teeth are also the longest in proportion to their bodies of any fish. While it's obvious where the fangtooth gets its name, its two largest fangs on their lower jaw are so incredibly long that their jaws have evolved a pair of opposing sockets going into either side of its brain to accommodate them. Their teeth are so large that these fish are actually incapable of totally closing their mouths. Juvenile fangtooth fish are very different from adults. They possess long spines on their heads, larger eyes, a functional gas bladder, 
gill rakers, and much smaller teeth. It's thought that these young fish feed on plankton, while adults use their large teeth to feed on other fish and small squid. To us land-dwelling creatures, their mouths might seem a bit weird, but they're actually pretty common with fish who live so deep in the ocean. Since there are fewer things to eat, they need to be prepared to chomp down when they do find a potential meal. Giant tube worms. In addition to living far below the surface, these giant tube worms also have adapted to live near hydrothermal vents, which aren't exactly known for being hospitable. These vents spew piping hot water and toxic chemicals into the ocean, as if freezing temperatures, crushing pressure, and a lack of sunlight weren't enough of a challenge. Giant tube worms are marine invertebrates that can be found over a mile deep in the ocean. They can grow up to 7 feet 10 inches tall with a diameter of 1.6 inches. These worms can tolerate extremely high levels of hydrogen sulfide produced by these vents, which many other creatures simply couldn't. The red plume seen at the tip of each worm is actually an organ used to exchange compounds with their environment. Inside of their tubes live bacteria, which convert the hydrogen sulfide and other chemicals into organic molecules to feed the worms. This is a process known as chemosynthesis. It's truly strange and fascinating how these creatures have adapted to thrive in such an unpleasant and treacherous environment. Vampire Squid If a vampire creature was going to be found anywhere, 10,000 feet under the sea would be a great place to hide from the sun. It makes way more sense than hiding out in Washington. Vampire Squid may sound like a bad horror movie, but in reality, these squids only grow up to about a foot long and aren't particularly scary looking. Each of its eight tentacles are connected with webbing, and they swim using fin propulsion. Their eyes are absolutely enormous, and they have the largest in proportion to their body size of any creature on the planet. Light-producing organs known as photospores cover their entire bodies, allowing them to glow. Unlike true squids, they don't have ink sacs and lack muscles to control its body-changing color. Because where it lives is so dark, ink and camouflage just aren't really essential for this creature. It does have a couple of unique adaptations, though. One is their metabolic rate is incredibly low based on their mass and their blood is able to bind and transport oxygen very efficiently, which is further assisted by their unusually large gills. Despite their weak muscles, they're able to maintain agility because of the statocyst and ammonium-rich tissue that match the density of the surrounding seawater. Pacific Viperfish Although they're not as proportionally large as the teeth from the fangtooth fish, the Pacific Viperfish also has a mouth of creepy, oversized fangs that prohibit it from closing its mouth. These fish grow to about 8 inches long and live up to 13,000 feet below the surface. Like many creatures that dwell in the deep sea, these fish produce their own light. Viper fish use photophores which produce light in order to lure in its prey. The photophores are located on the side of their body, with a particularly large one at the end of their dorsal spine. In addition to helping them catch prey, they also use this ability to communicate to other viper fish. What appears to be scales covering its body is actually a thick transparent coating of a substance that we actually don't know that much about yet. It's thought that the viper fish might actually impale their prey on their prominent teeth by swimming towards them at a high speed. Although they can move quickly in short bursts, while they're fishing for prey, they tend to float motionless except for their rotating light. Big Red Jellyfish Its scientific name is Tiburonia granrojo, but it's better known by its nickname, Big Red. It's an unusual moniker, but it's a lot nicer than what scientists originally wanted to call it, which was Big Ugly. Shame on you scientists for jellyfish body shaming. They're one of the biggest jellyfish in the sea and can be up to 30 inches in diameter. They make their home deep in the ocean, from 2,000 feet to 4,900 feet below the surface. Instead of the long, wispy tentacles that most jellyfish have, these jellyfish look like they have strange, fleshy appendages instead. They almost look sort of like tongues. They use these feeding arms to capture their food. Although their bright red coloring would make them an easy target in most parts of the sea, where they live, it's so dark that their coloring actually helps them blend in. These jellies are really hard to find in their natural habitat, so unfortunately our knowledge of them is rather limited. We have a feeling that watching one feed with those strange tentacles would be quite the sight. Coffin fish. No, they're not where the vampire squid rest during the daytime. These coffin fish are typically found in the southwestern Pacific near Australia and can be located up to a thousand feet below the surface. They're actually a type of frogfish and walk along the bottom of the ocean using specially adapted fins. 
These fish are so strange looking that they're actually sort of cute. They're pink or red in color and have the ability to inflate their bodies with air, just like a puffer fish does. Helps them appear more intimidating to predators. But when they're not inflated, they look a little flabby and sad. They also possess a small lure that helps them attract prey, but it's not always deployed. When they're not using it, they tuck it into a small slit in their face. It may look like the perfect spot to hide a unicorn as corn, but trust us, the fishing lure is much more practical. As they're growing up, coffin fish can actually be blue in color and don't acquire their reddish hue until later in life. Juvenile fish are also spotted swimming around the ocean more often, while adults tend to stay close to the seafloor. Ocean sunfish. No, Jay, this isn't a baby whale. It's an ocean sunfish, also known as a common mola. These fish can be found up to 2,000 feet underwater. Although some people believe that they spend a large portion of their lives basking near the surface, they actually spend most of their time at much greater depths. In fact, it's believed that they bask in the sun as a way of recharging and gathering warmth before returning to deeper and colder waters. These fish are absolutely enormous and can weigh more than a car. The average sunfish is about 10 feet long and weighs 2,200 pounds, but larger ones can weigh up to 5,000. When it comes to laying eggs, these fish go for quantity over quality and lay more eggs than any other vertebrate up to 300 million at once. Their teeth have been fused together to form two plates, which end up looking like a sort of bird beak. They have a sort of blank expression and are so strange looking that it's no wonder many believe they spend their lives relatively inactive. But in actuality, they're quite active predators who swim several miles per day hunting food. They even have distinctive tastes and they'll eat the energy rich parts of jellyfish and leave the less nutritious bell part behind. There are so many incredible creatures hiding deep in the ocean that sometimes it's hard to choose just 10 to focus on. Did your favorite denizen of the deep make it onto our list? Be sure to subscribe to The Hub because it's likely we'll feature it in an upcoming video. Before you go, be sure to like this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.